It didn't take long. Within days of the last U.S. troops leaving Iraq, a wave of violence swept through Baghdad this week. At least 16 bombs exploded Thursday in Shiite neighborhoods, killing about 70 people and wounding another 200. Last week, we met one Iraqi worried about his safety because he had worked for the Americans. In a follow-up tonight, Elizabeth Palmer tells us about his spiking fear. Just days after the U.S. withdrew its last troops from Iraq, and with a political battle raging between the Shiite prime minister and the Sunni vice president, this new violence evoked fears the country may be headed for civil war. The bombs hit too close to home for an Iraqi man we'll call Terry, a former U.S. military interpreter we met last week in Baghdad, who worked with the army fighting fraud in reconstruction projects. He asked that we conceal his identity to protect him. What did you do for the United States? I helped them uh, distinguish who's, who's the good guys and who's the bad guys. Through their who... eyes and ears, really. Exactly. Terry's father, who works in Iraq's anti-corruption office, was on his way to work when one of the bombs this week exploded at his office, killing 25 of his colleagues. What will happen to you if you stay in Iraq, if you can't get to the States? We'll get killed. Terry's been waiting now for over a year for a visa that would let him move to the U.S. under a program for Iraqis whose service to America left them in danger. In a Skype interview yesterday, he told us he can wait no longer. When I was working with the U.S. military, I was living in a secure place. I, I, I didn't fear my life, even for one moment. But now there's no such place. The U.S. State Department says they are looking into the status of Terry's visa. But meanwhile, he's decided to leave Iraq for neighboring Jordan to join the million and a half refugees who have already fled their troubled country. Elizabeth Palmer, CBS News, London.